Okay, for Halloween, my oldest boy is 12 and my younger boy is uh, 7. I'm going to dress him up as Kirk and Spock from the original Star Trek, the old series. The classical Star Trek. And to dress them up, I just had to study the uniforms. I went out and I bought uh, a blue, some type of sweatshirt uh, for only $10 and a uh, orange one. Couldn't quite get the tan, but that's close enough. And at night time for trick-or-treating, you barely will tell this color difference anyway. These shirts, by their style, check out, look, study the old classical one first. It has a collar and it's black. I'm gonna, these shirts were already very much close to that style. And I'm going to spray paint the collar and the uh, insignia the insignia for the captain and for Spock. The emblem I purchased this uh, this woman's shirt at the dollar store. This only cost me four bucks. It has shiny gold fabric. I don't know if you can see that on the film well enough, but that'll make a great emblem. Also, the cufflinks. They have golden colored cufflinks. You have to watch out because Kirk has uh, two with some floating in the middle. Spock only has two on his, and that has to do with the rank insignia. For phasers, I simply bought flashlights. This is an unusual type of flashlight. It has a handle that opens up and you can wind it up. It's battery less. You wind this up and that's the power source. Uh, you wind it for one minute and it's good for well over an hour of light. You don't have to charge it up much. And I also bought a woman's coat that's furry uh, again at the dollar store only cost me 12 bucks and I'm gonna cut that up and make triples out of that so all together we can have uh, 10 20 32 33 34 35 36 dollars and uh, we're up to 50 with the flashlights 52 dollars with the uh, I bought this file cabinet thing at the dollar store and a belt, and I'm going to turn that into a tricorder. Add on some uh, LED lights. Okay, I've got the collar taped down, and I'm going to spray paint it now. Okay, this the collar came out perfect. No problem at all. Didn't bleed or anything. Well, communicators for the Star Trek outfit is very easy to come up with. You just take an old uh, cell phone that you don't need anymore, it's defunct or broken, and just spray paint the darn thing uh, the top one silver, and that's all there is to it. Uh, this is one part of their technology on Star Trek that has uh, come true since the 60s. Beat me up, Scotty. Try metallic spray paint. I masked off the top and the back of it. Couldn't be easier. Okay, so I copied the uh, insignia straight from the book, cut it out in negative space out of clear duct tape, and I put that down on a shirt, and I'm going to spray silver right on top of that. Now, my son's not wearing the shirt, so I hope I got the placement right. I did the best I could by guessing. I spray painted it white first. I may even go another coat. Then I'll put the silver on top of that. Okay, problem I had is the uh, paint puddled up and it leaked, so watch how... Just be careful you don't have leaks near uh, an edge. You can avoid that by making... Give, your, give yourself plenty of margin around that mask. Okay, so I cut the emblem out of the golden fabric, placed it right on the shirt, and then I uh, hot glue gunned the edges of it. I put it in position, and I lifted up half, glued half, and I glued the other half down, so it worked out pretty well. It looks far better than the uh, painted on version, which is way too flat. I took a dime and traced the uh, the dime with a sharpie marker and I also did an outline around it. It looks much better now 
And from memory, I remember Spock has one that looks kind of like a baseball. Captain Kirk has a little star on the inside of his. My memory was a little fuzzy. Of course, I haven't seen this logo in about 10 years, so it's actually got a little tiny Saturn-like thing on the inside of it. So it's an oval inside of the circle. I, I'd forgotten that. I thought it was like a baseball. Okay, I corrected the Spock one. You can see the other lines lightly through it, but that's all right. Not perfect, but... Oh, Vulcans don't smile. No smiling. I can't help it. Okay. Hold still. I want to get your ear. Okay, these are the ears from the... Uh... Here comes Grammy. Is it my controller? You get a picture. Connor, hold up your phaser. Connor, Leo, and Noah, Elizabeth, 2007. Did you get that house? Yes. Okay. Oh, yeah, we did that. Come on. Their uh, phasers are also flashlights. The best way to end Halloween is watch a good classic Star Trek.